Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about making good friendships and business connections and how they're actually quite similar. I remember a time at school when I was popular enough. Not like top tier popular, but I had a relatively cool group of friends. They were like cool dudes. Later in high school, because of differences in lifestyle, I started to drift away from those guys. And I remember feeling so lost and lonely at break times, like I didn't really belong anywhere. You see, doing your personal work or school life on your own can be really lonely and isolating. I'm convinced that we're supposed to do life in community. My friendships and business connections have made it even possible for us to expand our company Teach Me Too to the UK and to the States. And through my friendship with Louis, most of you guys probably heard about our channel. Now there have been whole books written on this topic, but I want to share with you guys what I think is the golden rule, and it's this. It's not about you. If you can show people that you care more about them than you do about yourself, you'll find it so much easier to make meaningful friends and connections. It's not about you, it doesn't mean that you throw your boundaries out the window or that you allow people to walk all over you. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's not about you, it means that you focus your attention and energy on serving the other person rather than serving your own agenda. And there's one very simple yet effective way of doing this, and that's listening. But I mean really listen to them. I mean show an active interest in their life and their story. When you make someone feel listened to, then they feel valued and then they'll give you their loyalty whether they're a customer or a friend. So what did I do in last week's video? I listened to you guys. I asked for your input. Daniel H wrote a comment asking us to speak on friends. You guys upvoted it and what did we do? Boom, here's the video. You see, everybody wants to be heard and feel valued. But the problem is we've become this generation of broadcasters. We tweet every thought, we post statuses to Facebook, we push our images to Instagram. We're obsessed with followers and likes and comments. We're addicted to this noise and yet we keep adding to it. We're more interested in being heard than we are in listening. So if you wanna have more meaningful friendships, start practicing your listening skills. Don't be that guy or girl to party who can't stop talking about themselves. You'll start to notice that people around you start to enjoy spending time with you and that your connections with people deepen. So this week, try serve people and listen instead of trying to serve yourself. You'll probably notice a world of business opportunities and friendship opportunities arise. Hey guys, so I know that was a little bit heavy listening, um, but I think that's good for you guys to practice. Let's see what I did there. Um, I've just finished filming the next episode already, um, and in this episode, or the one coming up, we show you how I use listening to actually come up with business ideas. And so, the other last thing, just remember now, is that we've created a YouNow account, finally. So you can go to younow.com forward slash nickmillerza and we'll try and do broadcasts on the weekends, like maybe Friday or Saturday, and then one during the week. And there you guys will be able to interact, share some of your own ideas, and we'll help you work your own business ideas. Cool, bye. Whoa, 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 you never clipped it. <laughs> Just kidding.